It's a big job to manage the landscape of any farm or ranch, especially when these lands are facing pressure from surrounding urban growth. We had the chance to visit a Colorado ranch whose family has a long history of implementing conservation practices to keep their lands in agricultural production. People are moving to Colorado Springs because we have this huge, beautiful mountain and big, wide open spaces. Those big, wide open spaces are managed by someone and they are also part of someone's livelihood. One of the things that makes agriculture so hard to walk away from is that these are our homes and our families, not just our businesses. You can hear in Maggie Hanna's voice that she has a strong attachment to the land her family has ranched on for four generations but it hasn't always been easy. Nearby cities are expanding and edging closer and closer to the ranch. Another challenge here in Colorado is the huge urban and suburban growth that we're starting to see along the I-25 corridor along the Front Range. And so we're seeing what were rural communities becoming bedroom communities to the metropolitan area. The types of agriculture that we can continue to produce are affected because more and more it becomes more urban or suburbanized across the state. And what a special thing that we call home a place that other people want to call home. And I think one of the frustrating components and a component that I inherited from the generation before me was that these things both have to coexist. I can't say that the Front Range shouldn't grow and I can't say that only ag should exist in certain places. But what I can say is that we need to do a better job of seeing each other and knowing how and where those pressures will exist and how and where we can respond to one another. Maggie's passion for protecting this land comes from her dad, Kirk, who was an early pioneer of holistic resource management, working to preserve the grasslands of Colorado from overdevelopment. I have had the unique opportunity to have a career that walks in that shadow. He passed away in 1998 uh, after serving as the um, president of the Colorado Cattlemen's Association. He worked very hard to bridge the gap between agriculture and environment. I have followed in some of those footsteps um, to pursue relationships between urban and rural environments. Conserving these places, these working lands in the state of Colorado, is um, valuable not just for protecting open space, but these are about keeping viable food production systems in place, delivering a safe product to our consumers. Ag is, has been, and likely will continue to be one of the top three economic drivers in the state of Colorado. So this is about protecting an economic piece of Colorado's infrastructure. Beyond benefits that we can put an economic value to, we also have the ability to sequester carbon, manage our water tables in these spaces, um, and ensure that our air, water, and uh, you know, general life functions are still available to all of us. With all the talk of climate change and, and how agriculture needs to be climate friendly and everything else, conservation is a, a big portion of that. We're not just sustaining the landscape, but we're, we're generating it. We're, we're finding that optimum level of land management with production agriculture. As the population grows, there's more and more pressure on our agricultural producers to produce the food needed to feed a growing population, not just in Colorado, but across the country and around the world. The partnership with her local NRCS field office provides Maggie not only support of the ranch's conservation plan, but sometimes simply friendship and guidance. NRCS has been a critical component of Hannah Ranch's work since the mid-1980s in basically every aspect of what they can deliver. They have offered financial assistance and technical assistance. They have mentored generations of the Hannah family through projects. And last year we were in the midst of 18 months of really scary, dry times. Uh, and it was I was seeking counsel from uh, NRCS, but I was also, I received some comfort to know that this is not a specific ranch issue. We are in the midst of like a very scary dry time and this is how we are collectively gonna manage out of it, it was really helpful. Maggie and her family placed part of their land into a conservation easement, which allows ranching to continue, but prevents more intense development. 
a conservation easement to private working lands is a benefit to the state of Colorado, no matter how you interact with these spaces. Whether these are places that you choose to recreate or landscapes that you make a living from, um, having a functional ecosystem that has a future and won't be under pavement at some point means that we can plan accordingly and move forward with a shared vision. So conservation in the future, it, it ties into the natural resources because it helps us function and helps us sustain ourselves. Natural resources are our, our lungs of our system. You know, it's, it's the beating heart of our land. They now have a conservation corridor uh, here in this area that has all of these farms and ranches protected adjacent to those state lands to ensure that there is agricultural land in this area for the future so that we can produce livestock and we can produce the, the food needed to, for the growing population. Maggie has also found that adopting these conservation practices has made her day-to-day -day work on the ranch easier. I can move cattle by myself, I can fix a float by myself, I can make this system function without needing a lot of additional labor. We can make these landscapes function in a way that is easy to invite the next generation back. You know, like we don't have to scare them away by having these workloads or these skill sets that are so unattainable. This is really functional. We've probably seen a change in resilience. Um, we've changed in the adaptive management. So overall, I think it's just become a more adaptive management tool that has allowed the flexibility and the foresight that uh, allows her to do other things as well as other jobs. Years of conservation planning by the Hanna family will keep this ranch as their home and livelihood for years to come. I have been given this path and I've been given this passion and I really do believe in this work. And I think as the fourth generation of this family in this place, it gives me both a lot of meaning to know that this place existed and functioned and thrived through prior generations and that I now have the opportunity for a variety of reasons to pursue that and push it to the next generation. My dad is buried here. Land is so important because it ties us to place and it creates this sense of belonging beyond just the community of humans that we exist with. To learn what conservation plans might be viable for your farm or ranch, visit your local NRCS field staff about the technical and financial assistance they provide. Go to nrcs.usda.gov to find an office near you.